At least eight people have been killed and dozens injured in a crush at the Africa Cup of Nations in Cameroon. The incident took place at the entrance to the Olembe Stadium in the capital, Yaoundé. Reports indicate crowds tried to force their way into the stadium to watch Cameroon's national team play Comoros. The game went ahead on schedule with fans inside the stadium unaware of the deadly scenes outside. With us now from Buea in Cameroon is correspondent Blaise Iyong. Blaise, thanks for joining us. Tell us more about what happened there in Yaoundé last night. Oh, very sad day for Cameroon. Normally, at this time, Cameroonians will be running the streets because their team is qualified to the next stage for the African Cup of Nations. But that's not the case because, as you mentioned in your introduction, eight persons died, died yesterday as some of these fans tried to rush into the stadium to have access to the stadium while Cameron was playing a game uh, uh, against Comoros. And according to police sources on the ground, they said that these people tried to force their way into the stadium, and that's when the stampede happened. Immediately, some of them were taken to the hospital. But before that, uh, we've had confirmed cases of at least uh, eight people who have died. So we've got those figures, but what are residents and officials in Yaoundé saying about the crush? Could it have maybe been prevented? Uh, so far, information has been very little uh, from CAB and also from government. And in this morning, the health minister and also the secretary general of CAB visited some people who sustained injuries in hospitals. In terms of the local population, they are angry because information is not coming in on exactly what happened, how it happened. Also, people are angry that security forces outside the stadium could not contain because the population, the, the fans rushing into the stadium actually overpowered the, the security forces that were stationed outside to control the crowd. So people are angry and also there's very little information coming from government and also coming from CAF. Could there be consequences, Blaze, for the remaining matches in the tournament, perhaps stricter crowd control measures? Prior to this uh, competition, CAB had already restricted the amount of people uh, who can access the stadium. So now with this incident, uh, we may find ourselves in a situation where uh, all the tournament may find itself in a situation where CAB may say, OK, all the, all the matches will go without fans or maybe they'll bring down the number of fans that can go to stadiums. Uh, as maybe our viewers may know, uh, as of now, 80% of uh, the capacity of, of the stadiums can be filled when the match is played by the host country and 60% for uh, teams that are not uh, the host country. That number could actually go down, not just because of COVID, but because of the incident, that the uh, deadly incident that happened last night. Blaze, thank you very much for bringing us up to date there. That was correspondent Blaze Eong in Buea, Cameroon.